Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now I'm out here on a family trip, family vacation in the camping scenario. I had a ton of gear to bring with me and some really important things that I knew I'd need while I was out here. So today we're gonna look at a couple of products from the company Roaring Fire. So here you can see a tool roll and here a fire kit. Both of these absolutely instrumental in what I'm trying to do out here. The tool roll here with all my basic tools, a lot of things that I need just to keep me kind of moving, basic things to keep things maintained and a whole bunch of essentials that really had to come with me. But here, my fire kit, well, if there's anything I'm gonna be doing, it's playing with blades and starting fires, especially while I'm out here in this camping environment. So having a good quality fire kit with a number of different ways to start my fire, this is absolutely sweet. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you these in detail so you can kind of get a feel for each one of these. You'll see how I built these out and why I brought the things that I did and then ultimately getting these out for my field use. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Roaring Fire who did provide these for review. And so now, as we get into the Roaring Fire kit, this is called the Armadillo Mini Tool Roll Bag Bundle with Ember Pro Organizer Pouch. And that's exactly what you're seeing here. So as we take a look here at the Armadillo Mini Tool Roll, definitely very cool. This is made from a high quality canvas they're calling this a duckware canvas with a water resistant coating. This is made with YKK zippers and has a number of excellent features. And here you can see I am definitely getting this ready for my outdoor adventures. In this particular case, I'm going on a family camping trip where I'm going to be gone for almost a week. So the key thing for me when building a kit is trying to think about what do you need it for, where are you gonna be, and what scenarios might you run into. And in this particular case where I'm going to be gone for literally an entire week, I know that I'm gonna have little maintenance tasks that I need to perform, I'm gonna have some lighting needs, I'm gonna need a number of different tools for a number of different reasons. So building out this kit in a comprehensive fashion is definitely going to come into play. So this armadillo tool roll for me is the opportunity to outfit this with a number of different needs, not just tools, but different essential items I think I'm going to need while I'm out on my family trip. Now, just getting into some specifications, the rolled up dimensions, 5.5 inches in length, 11.02 inches wide. Opened up, this becomes 18.9 inches long by 11.02 inches wide. Again, this does have YKK zippers on the pocket, which is roughly 3.35 inches long by 11.02 inches wide. Now you'll notice some of the features as you take a look at this. It has an excellent grab handle right in the center, has some small side pockets and a flap enclosure to make sure all of your gear stays in securely. The main features of this is the fact that it rolls up and it makes for easy storage with buckles for a secure closure. This is a multi-purpose and multi-roll bag that can be used in a number of different ways. So each and every individual user is going to have their own ways that they use this and their own ideas in mind. This also has a nice little hook and loop field if you want to spice it up with your own morale patches. And the best part about it, just all the internal divided sections. On top of all of this, it has a water resistant coating. So even if it does get a little bit wet, it should shed a bunch of the water. And you'll notice here as I go through this, I am adding all kinds of things. Things that I know I'm gonna need pretty much on an everyday basis and things that I am putting in here because I think I might need them or might want to use them. And I can tell you that after I set up this kit, I actually did end up using pretty much everything at some point during my trip. So the ability to set this up in a very flexible manner, absolutely fantastic. And overall, you'll see this has a ton of different items, not just tools, but my writing utensils and all the little things I'm gonna need to keep me busy while I'm out on my family adventure. 
As you see here, the interior divider helping to keep everything separate so it's not all clanging together. The buckles are very nice. The straps are pretty straightforward. And this does a nice job keeping everything organized in a fairly tidy package, all things considered. It has a grab handle right in the center, which works out very well. And if you wanted, you can even add a shoulder strap. Now I found that personally for me, I really didn't need the shoulder strap. It's nice to have it, but this is one of those take it or leave it types of things, depending on exactly what you're trying to do. So the tool roll, very, very nicely done. And again, this is the Armadillo Mini Tool Roll. Now moving forward, this here is the Ember Pro Molly EDC Utility Organizer Pouch. This is literally an everyday carry pouch. But you'll see for me, I leveraged this for a fire making kit. And not just a fire making kit, I would say a comprehensive fire making kit. This for me is one of those things where if you're going to a location, call it car camping. And in my particular case, literally traveling. I knew I could have more than necessary. I'm not worried about weight. I'm not really worried about bulk. I'm just worried about having the things that I need. And fire making supplies and the ability to make fire a number of different ways is absolutely awesome because you don't know exactly what you're going to get into. You don't know exactly what the conditions are gonna be. And each fire, well, it has its own little personality. Depending on how you need to get it started, you can do it a number of different ways. So building out a very comprehensive kit definitely paid off in the end. Now this is made of 1000D Cordura fabric, has high tensile strength webbing, binding tape, uses YKK zippers, and they are reversed for protection. Has some paracord loops to make it easier to open up the zippers, and has a little bit of a webbing across the front. All in all, with a reinforced grab handle and some D-ring accessory loops, this is absolutely fantastic. Now, this particular pouch being the Roaring Fire Ember Tactical Pouch, 8.3 inches in height, 7.08 inches in width, and 1.97 inches in overall depth. And you can see here, turning the corner, as I get this into my family vacation time, I leveraged this continuously while I was on my trip. I had reasons to use this kit in all phases of my game, whether I was indoors trying to make some little repairs, whether I was outside making some fire, each and every individual piece of this kit did have a use for me while I was there. And furthermore, I even brought enough stuff for my kids and for my family to also have their own fire making supplies. So again, for me, it's not necessarily about what I think I'm gonna need or what I know I'm gonna need, but it's looking at the scenarios and saying, what if? What if I need certain things? What if I have the need to sort of tech on my equipment well, this kit absolutely allowed me to do that and do it effectively. So again, as you see me using this kit in many different ways, overall, it was extremely effective. I love building kits. It's very fun and something that if you've never built comprehensive kits like this, it expands your brain. It makes you think, and I definitely enjoy that. So all in all, using the Roaring Fire Armadillo Mini Tool Roll Bag and Bundle with the Ember Pro Organizer Pouch. Again, a very nice kit, well made, well organized, and something that I can say for me, I definitely recommend it for the ease of use, the flexibility, and my ability to do a number of different things while I was on vacation. And furthermore, if you're creative, you can come up with some interesting alternative ways to use this and to mount it. You can see that for sure right here. And so, all right guys, there you have it. A look at these Roaring Fire products in good quality field use. Now again, the tool roll, extremely effective. Really easy to take all my gear, keep it all packaged up, and then just roll it out from time to time when I need it. It's been actually really convenient. The only thing that I haven't really needed, to be honest with you, is this shoulder strap. I mean, it's cool that it's there, but for me personally, I'll probably take it off, kind of get it out of the way, and it just depends on exactly what I'm doing. But here, in the camp environment, really just needing the little grab handle, the ability to take this 
roll it out onto the table or where I'm working, pull out the tools and just get to work. So this has been fantastic. And the fire kit, again, instrumental in my ability to do what I need to do here. Now, there are a number of different things that I could put in here, a number of different things that I could have added, but it was enough for me here in this scenario. So generally speaking, very effective and nice to have a good mix of different tinders, different fire starting capability, all in one concise package. And so again, these will continue to get put to good use. And thank you very much to the people at Roaring Fire who did provide them for review. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you liked what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you liked what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.